George Kell, Motor Company, player of the game. We talked about this guy all night long. Monquel Cox, a super nat for you, young man. Over 200 yard rushing. Tell me how it felt out there tonight. I feel great. Man, it's just it's an amazing feeling. It is. What worked for you guys? What particular plays were working, or was it just everything? Just tell us a little bit about what were some of your favorite plays out there tonight. Uh, Titan, Steeler, mostly Titan and okay. Patriot. What do you do on Titan? Uh, it's just like a up the gut run. Up the middle? Yeah. You get a trap block? Yes, sir. Okay. Talk a little bit about your offensive line tonight that because, you know, you got to give some credit there. Talk a little bit about those guys. Man, they did great. I mean, I mean without them, I wouldn't. I went and got what I got tonight. Yeah, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. We'll talk a little bit about the preparation this week. You know, we lose a football game last week that we probably could have won. Talk a little bit about what all you guys did in practice this week to prepare for tonight. Man, we just went over all the plays that they did and just – do what we do best, play Greyhound football. Well, we did tonight, didn't we? Yes, we sir. did put 60 on the, on, on the board. And uh, do you know how many touchdowns you scored tonight? Uh, six, I believe. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> this guy goes for over 200 yards, and I'm, I'm probably near 300 total offense. <laughs> six touchdowns on the night. It was a phenomenal night. And uh, you get to play a little on both sides of the football from time to time. But uh, uh, we've got one more non-conference game. What's the plan for this team? Well, how good? can this team be? It can be very really good. We just continue to stick together and work hard. That's what you have to do, isn't it? Yes, sir. So you guys will be back in Sunday. Do y'all go in and look at film on Sunday? How does that work? When do you watch the film? Uh, Monday. Watch we go in to practice, watch film, and then go outside and just run over a little bit of the thing that the next team does. Okay. And then, uh, hey, there's no doubt, I think not only are you the George Kell Motor Company player of the game, I think you're going to have some, some higher awards around the state of Arkansas <laughs> tonight. But uh, uh, it just it was a tremendous night for you, and, and you don't have nights like that every time. But you've, you've looked forward to this all your life, have you not? Yes, sir. Tell me about school. Tell me a little bit about school. What, you have a favorite subject that you like. What do you like most about school? Uh, I mean, I like seeing my friends and all, but my favorite subject, I think, is math right now. Is that right? Good deal. Who's your math instructor? Uh, Miss Singleton. Okay, good deal. Good deal. And uh, math's one of those that, that uh, it, it, it's different than it was <laughs> many, many years ago, but it's still about adding, and subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. <laughs> yes, sir. As you can. Well, Mark, well, listen, we are so excited about where this football team is going, and uh, there's no doubt that you guys made a tremendous turnaround from last week. Talk a little bit about your coaching staff and how those guys prepared you. I mean, they're doing great coaching us. I mean, staying on us all day, or all week long. I mean, they just couldn't get in. They couldn't do any a better any a, a better job. No, and they do. nor could you tonight, my <laughs> friend. So you listen well. Monquel Cox, he's our player of the game. Over 200 yards rushing, six touchdowns on the night. I would say that this guy had a huge night. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Coach Mark Hasley joins us in the booth after Mon uh, Monquel Cox and what a job he did tonight. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, uh, the show brought to you by Subway in the Walmart uh, Super Center. Uh, a 60-28 to 28 victory, and, you know, we talk about it a lot. We, we strive against perfection. It wasn't perfect, but it was a victory for the Hounds. It is, you know, and, that, and, that's, and, and you, you, that's what you're always pushing for is that perfection because you want every game to be clean and be just a complete game, and you don't always get that. But, uh, you know, I think for our kids to show the fight that they had all night uh, and then just the resiliency after every little thing that would happen, they just kept on fighting and keep moving forward. And that was a challenge. I gave them, and, and it showed up tonight. Tremendous offensive game plan. We came out, and we ran the football exceptionally well. Cash threw the football exceptionally yep. well. We threw the ball down the field some, not so much to complete passes, but to, you know, to, to back those guys yep. out of what they were doing. But our, our hitches were open. Cash was sensational, but a great offensive game plan. And we say it all the time: is, is you got to take shots every now and then, even if they don't work. They sure. work. And, sure. and, and, and I think it did that for us a little bit. And you know, and with great adjustments as we went because they were showing more off corners and, and, and middle field safeties, and we did a lot of shots. We tried to take advantage of the seams, and we did a lot of stuff for the hitches on the outside. So uh, I think we did a, a great adjustment there based on their coverage. And then also, you know, they, they were trying to move those tackles inside and outside, and we did a great job of keeping it inside, trying to bust things outside. I think it kept them guessing all night. So offensive game plan and, 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 and adjustments worked great all night. Hey, offensive and defensive lines, absolutely super. You know, I, I can't say enough about uh, the Dalton Phillipses and the Connor Prince and the Gideon Ball this year yes. and the Zane Watkins and the Alex Emery's. Those guys came in. They play both sides of the ball. And for them to play that gritty of a ball game up front and, and, and get us those yards. I mean, because Monquell 
didn't do it all by itself. Right. And uh, defensive line, I challenged them. You know, we're we're going to be good, and our coverage is going to help. It, but we have to be able to get that D line up the field. And, and and they 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 I challenged them this week, and they they were gritty this this afternoon for us. Well, there's no doubt that the Hounds really dominated the football game. You know, it's 60 to 20. Anytime you score 60, you've yeah. had a great night. Defense got a touchdown tonight, and uh, but but I mean, it was just one of those nights where every, I mean, uh, 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 Theron had a tremendous oh, yeah. cash out of game. Offensive line did we caught the ball on the perimeter. We did the things off. Offensively, and mixed it up, and Cash can get out of the pocket. And what decisions that yeah. guy makes! He's pretty good back there. Three-year starter, and that, pretty good. There you go. You said it right there. To be a three-year starter, he's a coach on the field. He, he really is. is. You know, you hear that all the time, but I can't stress it enough that he is. Because if if we were in a situation, I would just tell Cash to run the offense, and he could do it, right. and he could do it with with efficiency. So you know, that kid, I can't say enough about him. His work ethic too. He's the first one out on, off the bus that gets on the field and wants to warm up, throw. He, the, the work ethic is why he's, he is what he is. And, and that's a test to his, to his raising, I guess. But uh, th that kid is, is going to have a great year, great season. Monquel Cox, over 200-yard rushing, six touchdowns. And I don't ever remember anybody scoring six touchdowns. Uh, that, that's, that's a – Six touchdowns? That's plaque-worthy almost. Yes, that's it plaque is. Worthy. I guarantee you. I mean, you. that's just amazing. And, 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 I mean, you know, that goes to a great game plan. Uh, you know, Coach McGee seen it up here. Coach Bradley making good play calls. Coach Smith helping. Coach uh, – you, you know, you got so many people involved in it, man. It's, 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 it's real special when you see so many positives in a game like this. It makes the negative still hurt sometimes, but they're very fixable. So I, I just love uh, the, what we what we what we put together tonight. I saw a lot of good things defensively. Also, yeah. I, I like our defense. Our guys and they did. We ran to the football a little yeah. bit better tonight. And uh, uh, you, you you rock along there. You know, we lose a linebacker last week, yeah. and, and and then then we get a you know a, a spearing penalty, and you yeah. lose that linebacker yeah. replaced. And so what you do, you just you say next man up yeah. mentality, just like we talked about yeah. last week. But defensively, I thought we were yeah. good. Yeah, and and. In that, and that's what I like to see is I, you know, I, I love seeing those second team guys that got some uh, some on the film there that I'm going to be able to evaluate them. And it's just to see that next man up and to go in there and to see what I like to see was Julius taking him and pretty much just coaching him and, and, and being that, that senior leader that, that, we're, that we need. So, uh, yeah, you know, so many positive in this game, David. I cannot say it enough. So many positive what our kids did, coaches did. It was just an all-out good night for them. Well, we have Lone Oak coming into our place for our opening, uh, opening football game at home this year. And that will be a tremendous challenge for us. But let's just savor the victory tonight, That's and right. uh, we're one and one in the little non-conference schedule. Yeah. They give us three games, and we get in the meat of the schedule. And, and as we talked about, yeah. the third part of the season, the playoffs. That's right. Mark Hansley, great victory tonight for Thank the you. Hounds. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it's always brought to you by Subway and the Walmart Super Center. Go, Go Hounds. Hounds.